Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can find new angles on the subject that you have shot thousands of times. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramadi from the amazing, the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I make one to two tutorial per week. All right, this time I'm doing a challenge, 30 days, 30 video. This is day number 14. And I just wanted to share a little story with you. I was with a good friend, Darlene from DPS, and I wanted to uh, shoot Notre Dame with her, but I've done it so many times. So I was trying to find new angles. Here is the whole story. All right, guys, so I want to share a little story. I, uh, the other night in Paris, I spent uh, with uh, a good friend, Darlene Hildebrand from DPS. Uh, we had a nice dinner right in front of Notre Dame, and you know, we looked outside. It was not crazy good, but we said, why not? Why not take a little photo? Um, and you know, we were right in front of Notre Dame. In Notre Dame, I have shot to death so much that I was kind of bored because you know, I've done it for so many years. But uh, I was excited to be with Darlene, and you know, she well, that was her first time in Paris. So, you know, this shot of Notre Dame, I've done it so many times, and I have had it with amazing sunset. That sunset was not great. Of course, you know, I could bring on the highlight and open up the shadows and do my blacks and my whites. And also, by the way, I again made the mistake of putting my camera book back to RAW, so I shot in JPEG that whole night which is really hard, especially for the white balance and you lose so much detail in the sky. But anyway, so that's kind of the best I knew I was gonna get of that photo. So I, I said, okay, you know what? Uh, I need to try something new. So first thing first, I tried to, uh, you know, do some lone exposures, you know, but still it was very, too much similar to what I've done already. But then I had an idea because it just rained uh, a few hours before. And I said, I'm, you know, I'm gonna play around with puddles. So I, and I thought I was kind of cool, so I went really low, and unfortunately my tripod doesn't go super low, but it goes pretty low, because I wanted to get the reflection of Notre Dame. And so, you know, it's still a kind of a better photo, you know, open up the shadows, the whites, the blacks, so you can see a little bit better what's going on. And uh, it's a better composition, plus I have the lone exposure effect. So that one is kind of cool, so I would, you know, I would give it a one. Uh, I tried different, you know, lone exposures, uh, you know, you can see here some kind of lone exposure effects, uh, you know, different type of framings. And, you know, at the end, that's kind of like the best that I got out of this one. I just went a little brighter. So same thing, you know, I could open up the shadows, the highlights, do the white and do the black. And, you know, play around with a bit white balance. But, you know, uh, I was still not super happy with that. Uh, and then I wanted to try a photo that I had never done, which was to shoot Notre Dame under this bridge. I have done it during the day, but never during the night. And, um, you know, it's that really annoys me, actually, the fact that it was li laid on. It was actually much nicer during the day. It's kind of like one of these only photos which look nicer during the day. So I can still, you know, play around with this. And especially now you have like a white balance that's completely different here than there. But, you know, I could crop this. What I probably should do, you know, is crop this a lot, actually crop it even more so we see a bit more the subject, which is Notre Dame. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is really about like, and then I'm going to do a linear filter where I'm going to desaturate, lower the exposure and add some blue uh, to sort of match the white balance. You know, the good thing with Lightroom is you don't have to do global white balance, you can do local. And I'm just going to do like a whole bunch of, you know, linear gradient. So, because the eyes goes to the brightest part of the photo, so this is not too bright, okay? And then on the opposite, I can make, you know, like uh, take a right roll circle or something right in front there, inverse it uh, with exposure. Oh, sorry, I didn't inverse it yet. Invert the mask and just put more attention here on the on Notre Dame. Uh, maybe add some yellow because it's way too blue. This whole thing is way too blue. A little bit more exposure. It's way too dark. And, you know, it's an okay photo. I, you know, I still think I need to do some post crop vignetting here. So uh, I would go there uh, because I, I still think this is too bright. So I can do a post crop vignetting, which is going to help. You know, I like the fact that it's there, but I don't want it too much there. And then um, I can go back here. Um, I can go back here and just boost the overall exposure of the photo. And not bad, actually, it turned out pretty okay. I, uh, you know, I like the Ling Dangs. That really bothers me. There's two white thing there. So maybe, uh, you know, and anything that bothers you, you can just 
make it darker you put a, like a little circle and instead of dodging like i usually do we're going to burn meaning that up uh, i'm going to invert the mask feather it and i'm going to lower the blacks here just put less attention on that you know because it's ugly and that's kind of nice so that was kind of like one photo i kind of liked i tried different things uh with you know boats passing by uh so i could actually take this photo and synchronize it with the other two photos and see what it gives me not so bad not so bad actually uh, maybe a little too bright now I'm gonna add more contrast when you add contrast it makes things a bit uh, a bit you know darker in the same time uh, so that's one uh, kind of a cool shot now I th you know I can do is the light passing by here and you know so that's one shot and then I, I thought okay let's go back to the puddle let's go back to the puddle so I was looking for other puddles but there was no one so I went back to the puddle because now uh, Notre Dame was laid on and so I'm gonna open up the shadows and it's really about you know you try you gotta try when you you know I've been living in Paris for over 40 years you know and so sh you know I've been shooting the same subject over and over and over so it's it's really a challenge you know uh, so on this one I think I would just add a bit of you know uh, yellow it's a bit too blue and a bit of magenta because that's my you know landmark and i'm going to crop this you see i'm going to crop this out because this is way too bright the, the eyes goes to the brightest part of the photo and so making something like this i think would work better and make a little filter here lower the exposure and voila so you know basically what i was trying to teach in this video is instead of just doing over and over that regular shot that i've done a thousand times you know uh i ended up you know with this or with that and especially uh this which was completely completely uh, uh you know completely new angles that i've never done in 12 years that i've been shooting paris so i was kind of happy to have these two photos uh and then i i, I was going to try because you know paris streets are so nice so I did something that I never do, which is really like night, night photography. I usually stop around the blue hour. This is where I stop when the light is like, I don't go further because I find the contract is too much. But Darlene was like taking photos of this street and she had this idea of putting a bicycle in the foreground. So I, uh, I copied her framing and I was like, oh, it's not so bad, you know. And uh, sometimes like night street photography can be interesting. I just, you know, add a bit more contrast by, you know, open up the shadows, the highlights the exposure night photography you have to add a, l a lot of blue because otherwise it's really and you know i can go ah, a little bit of green could be cool so that's okay i mean it's not the best photo of the century but it's okay i mean it's paris you know and then i went place de la sorbonne and i did some long exposure there so i tried different angles because i like the lights from the cafe but this is a sorbonne and I said, oh, so I need to move to the right so that people can see the Sorbonne. And there was people there. I was waiting for them to move. And then they finally moved. And uh, so that's another shot that I got that night. Uh, I couldn't go to sleep because I was so jet lagged. So I said, I would, you know, I'm going to stay up all night. And voila. So I like, you know, to share this experience with you. And uh, it's more about, you know, trying to find the right photo than it is about a Lightroom tutorial. But, I, uh, you know, people have been telling me they want more and more this type of tutorial. Yeah. So I would just transform to make it right so voila so that's um i show you in full screen so that's one of the photo i liked from this that evening the place de la sorbonne and then the, the other one that i really liked is probably this one with the light rays i think this one is kind of cool it's blurry and then uh and then this oh no no not this one not this one I, I think it looks nicer when i came back later on and that the city lights was on i think this one uh was uh, you know a better one so you know even if you've been shooting a lot the same area go back and try to find new angles you know play with puddles play with you know um, uh, with framing the frame you know try to get a fresh viewpoint on something that's beautiful voilà mesdames et messieurs all right guys if you like this video please like it and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe so you can get my weekly free video sometimes i do one two and right now i'm doing one per day uh, all you have to do is subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the little bell so that you get all the notifications. Okay, I'm also doing this challenge because I'm promoting a movie where I'm the lead actor called The Hollywoodans. It's a comedy about Hollywood, about the story of a crazy French guy, me, uh, who's trying to make it in Hollywood. It's coming out on iTunes 
on the 16th of May and we're trying to get as much pre-order as possible. So if you want to spend a nice evening watching a cool Hollywood comedy about Hollywood, well, just click on the link at the end of this video or below this video and pre-order it. It will mean the world to me. In exchange, I will give you tons of free stuff and tons of free tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. I've gotten so much support from all around the world. The video right now is in the top 20 pre-order on the planet. We're trying to get in the top 10. So if you didn't pre-order it and if you get to take a second to do it, it would be amazing. Also, I came out with a new Photoshop course a few weeks back called Photoshop for Photographer. It's my best Photoshop course ever. Lots, lots of projects, 21 projects. 66 videos i try to change something i try to make videos shorter between three to six minutes and so you can you know just go to the video that you really want if you ever want to learn photoshop i really think this is of course you you've been looking for all right mesdames and messieurs i will see you tomorrow